Hello and welcome to another karting session, this time from Stockton and this time it's another one who I've joined Isaac with and there goes Isaac with his in his cadet cart he's only 11 so he can't drive the adult carts for about another 9 months and there's me just coming up the other side of the, of the video um, so I'm in my adult cart obviously and Isaac's there so this is the first time at Stockton and we've called on the way back from a holiday as we were virtually passing the centre um, but we've, we've called here for the main purpose of giving him some familiarisation of the track um, before any potential visit he may get if he does well in the upcoming British Karting Championships um, which if he can get finish in the top five in the local final with our local finals in Hull but if he can finish in the top five there he will be here for the regional final in uh, October November time so we've called here to give him some some uh, familiarization and to get him going now he's got some good karting knowledge already he's got some good kart control already from his many visits to team sport in Hull as we look at that lovely downstairs section where we're almost drifting around that corner so it's yeah it's all about him getting used to this particular track layout and um, seeing how quickly he can get up to speed and we looked on the team sport app and the top cadet time was a 43.9 that's the top cadet car that we've seen on the app 43.9 so we don't expect him to get really close to that this visit but we'll see where he is and if he does get anywhere close to it then that's that's great um, so unfortunately as we, while we're looking at this footage now is the GoPro we had a problem with the GoPro camera uh, for some reason although I charged it before we came here the GoPro camera wouldn't turn on there's some problem with the battery so this first session um, is footage from my wife's phone who is stood watching at the side uh, you can see just me just nipped in front on that, that hairpin at the top of the ramp so this is just a few bits of footage we got from session one and as we round this corner we'll have a quick look at the times we both gained and you see there I've got 44.9 Isaac, sack attack, Isaac's got 47.2 which is only what 3.3 seconds off what we've already seen as being the fastest cadet cat here so that's that's really good um, now big shout out to Beth and Tyler from Team Sport Stockton who were hosts for the day they were fabulous hosts and because our GoPro wasn't working they very generously loaned us their camera for the second session so massive massive thanks to them and a big shout out to you Team Sport, you've got a, you've got great staff. Uh, well, you've got great staff wherever we've been, both Leeds, in Hull where we go regularly, and, and now here at Stockton, you've got some great staff working. So, thanks very much, guys, for that. So, this session, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lead Isaac round for a couple of laps, just to see if he can learn anything from me. I'm, he probably can't, but so we're just gonna let him follow for a couple, of, just behind us. You, you just, you might just glimpse him as I glance over my head. So we're not going to go flat out just at the moment. I mean, he's close anyway. You know, he's only about what 2.3 seconds off my time anyway. So we're not going to. He's not too far behind. But we're going to let him follow for a couple of laps as we come now to complete the first one. Um, and then I'll let him. If he doesn't get past, you know, by himself, which he's quite capable of doing almost, then we'll let him pass and we'll follow him for a few laps and we'll let you guys watch him. Normally you see him from underneath the GoPro like this kind of footage now. It might be nice for you guys to actually watch him, you know, in, in frame. So this bottom section at Stockport is great fun. It's very slippery. I mean, as you can see, it looks almost like glass, but it's, it's, it's very slippery. But it's great fun to drive around, drifting around corners. But it also can be a bit tricky to get the perfect, perfect line, the perfect brake, perfect turn in. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, but despite that, the track's great to drive. And we had a great, great afternoon there. I so said we'd been, we'd been to Centre Park for the week, and instead of it being the half, an hour and a half journey up here to Stockton, it was only half an hour away from our route home anyway. So we decided to call in. So this is the second, second trip round the slippy downstairs. And you see, if you get it right, you're drifting round there. Look, but whether that's the quickest way to drift round there, I don't know. But. I, <laughs> I felt to, to not drift you were going so much slower but sometimes slow is smooth and smooth is fast but it just didn't feel like on that particular occasion so this is the best I can do and there we go right so we've let Isaac come past now and we're going to watch him for a few laps let you guys 
Yeah, we does. And you see, he, get, he gets a good line. He's got out to the outside. He gets those apexes. Lovely line. And round the hill to start the lap. Downstairs to the slippy left-hand hairpin. So you can obviously gain a bit of time there. Uh, the only trouble I find with this, and it's, it's, it's just been being picky, is you never know while you're driving which your best laps are. If you could, if you knew after each lap what your time was, you could actually then remember what you did on that particular lap. Getting the getting the times afterwards, and you think to yourself, okay, that was my best lap was on lap I don't know, say 12. You've got to then. There's no way you can really remember what you're what you did on lap 12 if you did anything differently for people like Isaac who were just starting out it's not a criticism in any way of team sport um, at all it's just something that we've noticed since we've been watching these videos back and having the videos to watch back is a great point because you can work out what you've done on your best lap you can look back and see those but nevertheless Isaac is doing really well he's been beaten by his friend Jake into the top cadet spot in Hull and he's closely followed in third place by his friend Leo, who he's met at the track. I'm sure those guys will probably be racing together for many months and years to come, whether it be just as a hobby or anything more. I'm sure these guys would love to take it further. We've already seen Isaac in his first session here at Stockton be just 3.3 seconds off the fastest cadet but the app is showing us 43.9 as I try and go down the inside but it's too tight I can't make the turn in time sticking to the inside with him on the outside there so he manages to hold that off as I try too tightly to make that apex too tight and we're not desperately desperately trying to get past him we want you guys to watch this for a bit but I do want to have time to go and set my own fast and have to see if I can improve on my own fastest time of the session so here we go inside line up the ramp and that's it so where we go we'll go put, so we'll, we'll cut off now we'll, we'll close the video down uh, we'll show you the times and we've gone off now to head home for a well-deserved rest after our busy holiday a bit of oversteer and there we go so I've improved nine tenths to 44 Zach's improved three tenths to 46.9 and although you can't see the top 10 of overall best scores he's about second off the top 10 there you could ignore Toby Scott's 30, that's a glitch. But he's done absolutely fabulously there. Um, thanks very much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.